Why am I telling you to drink tainted water? Because it's actually very safe. Yes, you can kill yourself with it, but only if you drink tainted water from a container. I'll go ahead and prove it to you. The setup here is high thirst, prone to illness, and weak stomach. Mind, prone to illness and weak stomach has nothing to do with tainted water sickness, but I know people will ask and comment about how they do. So as you saw, I drank from a puddle 11 times, and within an hour and a half in game time, I was already recovering from the sickness debuff. By the time I'm fully recovered, my thirst has only gotten to about 25%, meaning even with high thirst, there's no way it'll stack up over multiple days to kill you. Next, I'll test drinking straight from the river, and it's effectively the same thing. This time, it only takes one drink to empty the whole thirst bar, but the sickness debuff takes about the same amount of time to recover, and by the time it's gone, thirst is still less than 25%. Okay, so let's take this to the absolute extreme. See that temperature up in the top right? 156 degrees Fahrenheit to max out the increase in thirst. Wearing full fireman gear to make sure I stay hot. And we finally get a different result. Yes, the sickness debuff recovers the same, but by the time I'm fully recovered, my thirst is at 100%. So I did find a way you could kill yourself by building up sickness via tainted water, but it would take multiple days of always being maximum overheated, something you are highly unlikely to face in game. With all this talk of drinking tainted water, how do you make it safe for container use? You boil it, get a pot, fill it up, and chuck it in a fire. A few minutes later and it will be safe to pour into your smaller containers. There you go, safe portable drinking water. But what happens if you do drink tainted water from a container? You die. Well, there is a way to get away with it, but it's not something most characters are set up to do. First, you need to have read the herbalism book and forage for lemongrass. You need to do this beforehand as you will quickly die once the sickness sets in. Then as you can see, the lemongrass decreases your sickness by a bit. You need multiple and eat them pretty early on, or you'll die like me trying to do a last minute miracle. 